this unlucky chick you're getting married to? Unlucky? <laughs> no, you should be happy with me. I'm getting married. What's unlucky about it? I don't expect that kind of thing from a friend, you know? Brother, look at the sky. It's how deep do you want wonderful it is? Who wants to be tied down? Huh? How do you feel like a bird, man? Okay, you can say that because you live off them, you know? You watch them off, man. Okay? Oh, are we trying to judge here? Let's take a close look at that. When we same school together, right? Who was in your big game when we were in this school? We were the men. Apart from that, we graduated from the same school. I made better grades than you. I made a two point. What did you do? Third class. I <coughs> still managed to get the job. That means if I roll into the same company, I'll probably be the empty. So please do not judge. And I'm still living better than you, judging from the t shirt and what I'm wearing. But I'm not complaining, I'm not judging you. So please don't judge me, okay? Phil, those days we are way back in school. I wonder where that your brain is now. If you still have it, I expect you to use it. I mean, look at yourself. You're not getting any younger. Mm. It's about time you think about settling down. Well, here's a reality check, then. Yeah. With your new channel and what have you achieved. You see wearing t-shirts and looking like me. What's the big deal? But I'll tell you something that's even more real than that. Which I think you should pay serious money to it. I still like this life. I love it. I'm not about to change for anybody. So if you don't like my company, go find people your age, rest of the daddies out there and have fun, eh? So it's finally over between you and Anita, right? Oh, 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 oh that, um, <clears throat> let, let me explain that to you. I know you lose little slow on the uptake, so you need to know what the grind is, no? But what on the street is, when a hen, especially an old hen, stops laying eggs, you will... So when she was laying the golden egg, like rent me a house and buy me a car and all that, it made sense. But after that, when she stopped, I had to move on to the next big thing. Now she wanted me to like get married to her. What's the pedigree? You want me to get married to her dad as, as a vegetable on a wheelchair. By the time I get married to that chick, I will have no, no father-in-law. Like, how does that add up? You have no questions, honestly. If you have anything like a question at all, it's dead. It's called wisdom, fool. And you could use some of it. Are you going to wake up one day old and green and still running around looking for food? Have you seen she will leave me? No. I'm very Why? surprised. Why? Practically because I really don't care if you go straight to hell. Does that mean to your heart? to Michael because he came at the right time. <laughs> you know, I really never knew you were so secretive. Oh, how? Oh. Well, my dear friend, I know you're seeing somebody and you intend to settle down and I still don't know who it is. So let me ask you, who is this person? Oh, girl, it's not like that. You know, I was actually waiting for the right time to tell you because um, I think that since I was always criticizing Phil, you would say his friend is self. His friend? Yeah, but one of the conditions I gave him, you know, to make things work between us is that he should speak with the guy, Phil. So, who is this person? The question, my dear friend. Very soon you find out. Well, of course I'm going to be patient. Very, very patient at that. Do you know why? No, tell me. Because I have Michael. Because I have Michael.
you. I wish I had the privilege to that. You're so beautiful, I fucking you will not be a bad idea. But no, I'm just a, a lonely man admiring a beautiful car and even more beautiful woman. I don't know what it is, what is attracting me to you or not. I don't usually do this, you know? But you're just so damn fun. And sitting in that car, I have to be your friend. Do you have a problem making friends with a young man? See, I really don't talk to strangers. I know, I know, I know. But they told me when I was a kid not to talk to strangers too. So all you need to do is give me your name, your house address, your number, and your last name. And I will stop being strangers and I'll give you mine too. And give me that beautiful smile and make my face. Look at you, I bet you smile with that. Yeah. I bet you smile with that. Hey, baby, get on top. Man, I'm having a hell of a time here. 
I just met this cute, handsome, exciting chap. Oh my god. What's wrong? What guy? Oh, okay, okay, okay. The way, yeah. He did what? How can I mock you do such a thing to you? I know, I know, I'm sorry. I know how you feel. Shattered, right? Oh. No, 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 See how come over here. Let me see the other half. God damn it. Damn, gonna meet you on the Sunday, baby. Turn around, baby. Let me see you. Oh man, I take that back. He made you on Christmas. Ah, why well, you gotta look this good? I'm sure everybody around the street is hating on you right now. Do you have any girlfriend, baby? I know you don't have. Who's gonna hang with a girl like you? You're too fine. And everybody told you how fine you are. Hmm? You know you can pass for now my Campbell's baby's sister, for real. You know that? Anyway, listen. I'll get back to all that. For now, I'm a producer, you know, film, music, all kinds of producer, right? Now, I was up there shopping, and I bought this whole bunch of stuff. I sent my drawer to go get some with my friends, right? And I was coming out, and this who's jumped me. I don't know who, they just jumped me, took my phone, took my shoes, you know, took my, took my wallet. So I, I need some help so I can call my friends to come get me. Sorry, it's 20 naira per minute. Are you out of your mind? I can't be telling me to pay money to you. What's 20 bucks? What's 20 bucks? Do you know how I can make your life? I can turn your life around. And you're telling me about 20 naira. Do you know how beautiful you are? Huh? I just want to call my friends to pick me up. So you're going to help a brother what? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Just the phone. That's my girl. Damn, you're as fine as your kind. Oh man, God bless your mama. Mm. Alright, I'll make this real quick. Man. I'll make you glow like glow when I'm done with you, baby. For real. Come here. Hold hands with a man. <laughs> I'm going to make my glow for life. I'll hook you up. Why is this guy not picking up the phone? What's wrong with him? I'll lose it. Yeah, hello? Yo, what took you so long to answer? Are you humping some broad? Who is this? Oh wait, well, you don't know me anymore? You, don't, you can't recognize the voice? What's up with you, man? Come on, it's just been six months. Yeah, I thought you left out. Yeah, well, I'm back now. I'm bigger, but um, I'm also broke, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, I need you to send a cab for me over here. Let me give you the address real quick, so I can come over to yours and they jiff it. 
Oh, oh no, I don't stay there any longer. I moved in with my girl and we're getting married, you know. Oh, you get married? Okay, 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 cool. Check this out, check this out. You don't have to look for a best man, all right? You got me. So hey, well, how about that? So come get me and then we'll plan out to get a suit and all that and then we're good. When are you getting married anyway? Uh, sorry. Uh, I, can't, I can't do that. Uh, please don't call this line again. Oh, hold up a minute, man. Come on, I know you're still mad about it. Hello? 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 What was that? Oh, baby. Bad news. You don't even know who he is. Don't worry. I can't let Nick do this to me. I can't let do this to me, man. No, 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 man. Come on, come on. It's no street. It's no street. That went out of my car and it's, it's trying to act up on me, man. Hello? You know what? It don't matter, though. So, hey, here's your cheap ass phone anyway. You know? Excuse me, sir. What? You said we were going to talk about. About what? What do you want to talk about? Take a good look at me. Take a good look at you. She's no more here. Since when? For three months now. They moved since three months? Where have I been? Things have really moved on. Um, what about the man on the wheelchair, the old man? They moved out together. Okay, thanks. Sir. All right, Robert. Come to this used up thing's address. She's wrong with a vegetable old man. concrete yelling at each other still shouting every single minute mom shouting dad shouting everybody shouting <laughs> you know that's one thing we need to work on yeah i guess that will change when we get married you know <laughs> <laughs> so did you miss me of course i missed you you did yeah you say it again so you two love birds are getting married eh so feel it's not that it's not about what the fact that your bone thug marrow man walked into town you my blood for blood look at me. well you get the point the point being that you owe me man and you leave me walk around the street like a nobody so things changed for you oh yeah definitely things have changed i'm not crying about it because i love a story with a happy ending i hope you guys get some kind of that kind of deal you know 
Anyways, I'm in trouble, as you can see. I hold all my worldly positions in this little bag. I need help. So are you guys gonna help me or what? You messed up. You messed up, you took an innocent life. Someone who did nothing to you but just loved and trusted you. See, you guys are just talking too much. Phil, please, I beg you. Leave my house this minute because I'm tempted to just pick up my phone and call the police. See, everything about you stinks. My child! My child! What is it? What? My God, we can't do this until I'm ready. Oh, please, must we wait until we get married? No, please, stop! No, yes, I promised. I promised over six months ago. I've waited. But come on, I'm tired of you complaining, you know. Let's get this thing going. You are upset? Yes, I'm upset. I mean, I've waited patiently for whatever psychological problem you have to go. No, you let a boy do his thing. My God, don't you understand? My past is still haunting me. All I ask is time. Time to get over it. What is wrong with you? Michael, I love you. I love you so much, and I don't want to hurt you. Hurt me? Do you have some sort of affection? No, I do You know what? Whatever it is you want to say, save it. Michael! Ah! Michael! Just let me be. Why can't they let me be me? Huh? Being you by killing other, a girl that fought to be by your side? You mean? So sad, that's all you can say. It's just. Let me at least tell you guys what happened that night. I know you're not going to believe me, especially. Dr. Thomas over there. I just go ahead, we have all the time. Yes, George. No! No! No, I'm not a cross of this shit, no.
swear to God, I didn't mean to hit her. Thing just got out of hand. I didn't expect her to slap me. I can she slap me a whole man, slap me like that. Phil, that's not what her. Why you lying? But you know that cockroach Nico would do anything to put me down. I just panicked and ran away when I found her she wasn't breathing. That was all that happened. It should be okay, like, you know. You don't flesh our family is. Right now the police are everywhere looking for you. And please, Phil, just go. Yes. You don't want to get into trouble. Go. Is that the way it is? You guys are just going to leave a man's career to die like that? A man with all his wood in one bag? I'm at my lowest eve right now. You could be talking to the next Bill Gates, Black Bill Gates. He just want to kick me out because you're a family I'm an orphan. And that's the way it is. This cold streets out there. All I want is a place I can keep my worldly possession. I just need some money to get a visa. Put some money in my pocket. Go to the USA. That's where I belong. That's where my career is. That's where my destiny is. I know my wife is there waiting for me. I know the golden fleece is waiting for me. I can even hear my kids calling me. Call me daddy and daddy and all that. And you guys are just gonna let my career die like that. My career die. What are you doing down here? Nothing. I've been waiting for you inside. I'm sorry. I didn't. Since you were to make things right between us before having E. No problem. Here I am. Go on. This is all you want, huh? This is all you've ever wanted. This is what all of you have ever wanted back when I was 16. This man is taking advantage of me, managing my body, all of my plus to find happiness. if I have any problem with you. Well, you see, your situation is really precarious and you have to give my wife and I out of it. Just give me some money, I'll be done. Yeah, I discussed that with my wife and she's a little bit upset but she has promised to see her lips. Listen, you have to talk to her, sink it into her to keep her mouth shut because if things go wrong, a lot of people will be going down. Are you threatening us? I won't dream of it. I'm just making a point. See, it is not in your position to order us around in our own house, okay? Get that sunk in your skull. How much are we talking about here? Well, I need enough to disappear. Let's say one million. Excuse me, that's ridiculous. Where do you expect me to get that kind of money from? Do it. Be imaginative. You're a banker, please. You can raise the money. See, I have a lot of things to do with money. My marriage is around the corner. And I need money. Okay. 
Let's be reasonable. We'll do a split. Give me 500,000. I'll be gone like bad news, trust me. Of course you are bad news. You total bad news. Baby! Yeah? Baby! What is it? What's it? Senator. Are the police here? I, I just got the phone call that something just happened to her. What happened to her? What happened to her? Hey, 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 you don't hold my baby like that. Stay off. Hours now. Really? If anything happens to her, what will I do? I mean, what will I say? I mean, what? Don't go quick, nothing's gonna happen to her, okay? So just keep faith. Everything will be fine. Yes. Okay? What's up, Uncle? Well, she's fine. Uh, we we'll have a visitor that couldn't be left alone, so I insist that she stays back while I come. Yeah, I know she'll be shattered, but uh, yeah, I should have called you first, right? It's alright. It's okay. Uh, what about the parents? Have you notified them? No, I mean, I, I wouldn't know where to start. It's important. They need to know. But don't worry, uh, I'll do that myself. You do that? I'll handle it, yeah. Uh, thanks, man. This is my house. And you don't come here telling me what to do in my house. Do you understand? I was trying to think. And that thing was distracting me. Oh, I bet you need all the thinking in the world, idiot. You should go in and do that. But don't you forget you were not invited into my house. Yeah, yeah. Listen, you guys need to relax. I'm not the enemy here. Just let me in on what is going on and everything will be fine. Oh, shut up! You shut your trap. And thank God, I've not called the police like I should have. And why would you want to do a thing like that for? Huh? Come on. <laughs> Listen, you don't even understand what the deal is. I'm happy being here. I don't want to cause any trouble. Okay? So if it's about shutting my mouth, you have it. I don't want to bring any attention to you guys. At least of all, bring the police into my situation. Hell no. Relax. Are you serious? I'm a lot of things, but I'm not dumb. Okay? I'm happy you guys put me up. Why do I want to, you know, cause a little ripple? 
the water, so to speak. Yeah. Go wherever you want and go relax. I'm good. I won't hurt a fly. I swear. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Alright, I just go in, change something nice and dash out. Okay, baby. Alright. Right. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. No worries. <laughs> I see you out of your mind. I'm out of my mind. Yeah, just get out. Huh? I'm out of my mind. Do I look like I'm out of my mind? No, 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 no. no. Do I look like I'm out of my mind? I want that money. I'm going to get that money. Whatever it takes me. No, okay, I'll okay, get okay, that okay. Money. All right, all right. Okay, you know. Huh? You think I'm playing with you? Let me tell you. Strip. Strip get down. What? Strip and get on that bed. I want that money. Please. Get down on that bed. I beg you. Please don't do that. No, I don't think you can ruin my life. Mm -hmm. you can, look at you. There's nothing I have to lose in life. <laughs> Immobilized, you know. I couldn't do anything to stop her. She could have killed herself, you know. We just have to thank God that she's out of surgery and alive. Okay. okay. I never knew she loved me this much. I mean, to the extent of wanting to take her own life to prove it. See, Michael. Anita was a woman. Living in her own world of disillusionment, filled with filth and dirt, propelled by a lunatic who is a dreamer. You control the overriding tide and brought the scavengers to rest. She sees the dignity in you, and that's what died for. I embraced her with a hidden passion. From the moment I set my eyes on her, I see in her what I have not seen on the faces of pretenders who surround my world. That should have been more reassuring. But like the vultures she flees from, I created the same notion of wanting to feed from the same carcass. It's okay. This incident was broken. You see it now. The world will heal. The pain 
Let's make them. Now tell me, which sculpture will remove and be dead in the heart? A blood vision of love. Mama, Mama, it's okay, Mama. Mama, Mama sir, stop. <laughs> she is alive. She needs rest right now. Please. My girl, she's my only child. This mouth that has tested her cannot afford to cheat it and live again. Oh, she may have one more. It's okay, I need you to just sit down. Mama, she doesn't need to rest. What I love most is to struggle you with my bare hands. But unfortunately, your blood is not even worth sewing my hands with because you're a dead man already. Kiss me. When you were screaming for this dead man in the room one time, you didn't like you with pain. Kiss me. Anita did, how will you take it? I'm going to have to make you think a thing like that. Maybe if I did something terrible or something very, very shameful, you know? As long as that thing, shameful thing is not caused or encouraged by you, it's okay.
question is, will I ever forgive myself? It was an outrage. Something beyond me. All I seek for was our lasting peace of mind. I was tired here. All I wanted was to seek solace in the unknown. Unknown to me was the rage which the momentary pleasure I seeked could stare. Unknown to me was the depth of faith which you had in me, which I dare say I have so compromised. My heart is fragile with heart. My body is broken with pains. I wanted nothing but an embrace that will bestow on me the dignity on the land in which I walk. It has been given to you, my dear, if only you believe. A kiss is an illusion to a heart that seeks it not. And I say life is beautiful to those who desire to succeed in it. Money is the root of all evil. What do they know? I say it's the leeway to heaven. <laughs> you see, looking at this money, I feel like a man that's been denied the good things of life all his life. Or things I don't know about. I feel my life just started. What do this man know about enjoyment? About fun and about excitement? Is this paper as the visa to all that? Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Sophie, why don't you just save yourself this boutique derangement? You've got 500,000 there, mm. isn't it? Mm. I want you to leave my house this minute. All right. But here's the problem I don't know why I was born a black man. Because apparently, my fragile skin cannot stand the sun. So I was thinking. If you guys would like to extend your hospitality just a little further, I can leave at night. No! You get your silly self out of my house right now. Because if you don't, I really don't trust what I'm going to do to you right now. So go. Again with the threats, my dear. I don't know what your problem is. Is it that you have too much energy? Or you just love hearing your own voice? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. The attitude comes in too. Well, between you and me, honey, you know you don't want me out of this house. But do you? Go ahead, tell him to kick me out. Let me see. Go on. Change your heart. For yeah. showing some remorse now. <laughs> um, anyways, let me tell something about this See this one? Nicest, warmest woman I've ever known all my life. Sorry? Mm -hmm. You and I know that she's a delight to be with. But I tell you, even you have no idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your accolades, my wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're welcome anytime. Oh, actually, yeah. oh, I know your friends are one of stay back, right? No, 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 no. For what? I'll serve some bread. You know, You've been with generous. So I can't stay till the sun. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, cool. I know when if I'll stay my welcome, my brother. The one thing. Yeah, cool. Um, am I required to return the case to you? Again? No, I don't envy your thoughts on how you've been feeling this evening. You're right. I couldn't face it, so I had to stay back. You're scared. <laughs> like here, I was. Do I have another sister? Over there. Perfect. This is good. Fresh air. 
fresh blood. I hate hospitals. You know why? No, you tell me. My first abortion at seven. <laughs> Please don't say that again. That was quite an experience. I was so scared what your parents would do if they found out. How about you? I was crying and praying when it was your turn two months later. You know what? God has been so merciful and kind to us. Your mother, my friend. You're my sister from another mother. We've been through the worst. We've seen it all. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. My darling father. My dear brother. Oh my God. I'm asking Ken to consider moving with me together. You should not. Well, please, it's right. I have one millionaire in here, so just hand me over the tape. I don't trust you. You're a vicious woman. I let us trust the snake. And it's back. Costa. I have nothing to benefit from between you because eventually they'll catch up with you, so I stress myself. That's what you think. I'm a product of pure genius. But you won't understand that. What can I find, Anita? I don't know. You're protecting her. Or maybe after what we did on this deep, suddenly realize that Ken is not man enough for you. Hmm? I can understand that. I got skills. <laughs> Phil, the tape, please. All right, if you won't tell me where to find her, tell me where to find her mother. I don't like how this thing went down. I just want to apologize. I'm not a bad guy, really. Phil, you know what? I didn't come here for all of this. So I'll just walk out of here. Without a tape? I don't think so. Why are you doing this? I met with our agreement, so why don't you just comply? Why are you just going to cry now, baby? No? Maybe because you're wearing red and black. My favorite color. Just because you're so damn hot. Want one for the road. You know? Just leave me. Don't you ever touch me. Don't stop me! Don't you ever touch me! You can do this. You can do this. You can do You can do this. 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 You can do Yes, I am. I'm happy because because at a time when I thought all hope was lost, just like your name, joy was restored into my life. You have seen it now. And seeing my daughter and realizing how close we are in losing her. It makes me see things in a different perspective. Me too. In fact, I've come to realize that uh, our daughter Anita need you and I for her relationship with my girl to work. So we have to move along. I will not say we have failed her 
due to our problems. But I will say our stupidity almost ruined her life. Eh uh eh! -uh. Whose stupidity? Your stupidity and not mine. Huh? You will not allow me to talk now, wise woman. Because I know that you end up blaming me for everything. That's what you do. If the truth must be said, who is the cause of all these problems? Is that a question? You and your jealousy. Who else? Was my jealousy unfounded? Of course, yes. Liar! Up to now, you will not admit that your way of life affected our daughter. Are you not blaming me for all her mistakes? Of course, yes. You did. Uh. If you are set up good examples, she will have followed that strictly. Was my accident not caused because I was pursuing you in my car when you were heading for a secret rendezvous with your young lover? This must stop. For the sake of our daughter. I've heard you now. I've heard you. Ah! Is that a promise? Ah! Are we not calling for trust for the sake of our daughter, Anita? I said I would try. But as long as you stop blaming me for everything. Please, I need to prepare. Easier said than done. Greed. Selfishness and dishonesty are intertwined and are very difficult to separate. Once it spreads its tentacles in us. Letter. The man came with a taxi. And where is the man? He has gone. Gone. Mm. <laughs> I I know him. He's my brother. <laughs> ah, thank you, my son. Oh, the other son. Yeah? Thank you. you Will you not give me something? Come on, shut up. Give you what? What do you know is inside here? Come on, get out from this place of Sosie Bapo. Get out! Go! Huh? Who? Look at him. Go get out of the son. Save us. I just had to say something to this stupid brat, whom I know they must have given too much money for him to give me this. For he go out there spreading it that one man gave me money.
The rate of your recovery is amazing. I mean, I wonder sometimes if you're actually concealing the pain you feel. Oh, God. Let's go to the house. No, 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 Bring your lips out. What? Bring your mouth. My mouth. Bring your mouth. Let's go to the house. Bring your mouth. I'm better. Don't ever scare me like that. I'm not able to make you kiss me over and over again. <laughs> You're so impossible. I love you. I love you too. Come on, my love, go eat something. I'm sure you must have been famished by now. Yeah, I'm just too cooking too. Mm -hmm. You yeah. miss me? Oh, my mother is back. You go? I'm better. Trust me, I'm fine. <laughs> Come straight and tell me you want me to make love to you. Come on, how are you making up all these things? Well, I love you all, you rejuvenated spirit, you know. You've been avoiding me all this while, I mean, you keep depriving me and stabbing me up. I know, but everything's okay with Okay, that's how do you want it? I said, from behind. <laughs> I'm gonna give it to you from behind. <laughs> oh my god! Mmm! Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's cool, though. You see? Yeah. I'll take you into the bedroom and I will rock you. Oh my god! 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 Yeah, how are you? Are you okay? Gladys will want some space with you, so I'll just excuse you. Yes, my dear. You love us.
Listen, baby, I'm, I'm really sorry for what I treated you. I realized my mistake. I'm really sorry. I miss you. So you're blind, right? Yeah. Okay, alright. So, uh, Anita said you have something to tell me. Because we came from those Eves, those scientists that we came from. <laughs> okay, baby, I, I, I just can't be anybody else. I have to be me. I'm who I am. Oh, I guess I'd rather stick with you that I know. And a man who can deny his wife and his son. I know what they say about the devil you know better than the angel you do not know. <laughs> Stop playing. Baby, I just want to know, did you miss me? I guess so. That's not a good answer. And you rejected me just like that. You left me and went with Ada. Besides, I heard you killed her wife. Babe, I'm a lot of things, but you know I'm not a killer. Come on. I feel I'm confused. I don't know what to do. I really don't know who to trust or who not to trust. I mean, I... Babe, you're better off with me. Just like you lost faith in me. All I wanted to do was make money for us and we'll go abroad and live a better life. Yes, you were. So I'm going to ask you again, did you miss me? Come on, baby. Thank you. Is the matter involved with anyone else that you know? I did, I'm amazed that you are. I mean, this is very strange. Because Phil is out of the question. Did you say Phil? Oh, are you thinking? See, Phil is my friend, and I know him well. He's capable of anything. <sighs> my God. I really feel sorry for that guy. It's even for me. Do you, by chance, have anything to do with Anita's disappearance? What kind of question is that? Anita is an adult for Christ's sake. If she feels Michael is not okay for her, she has the right to choose someone else. That's what I think. I should think so. Mm -hmm. Especially if that other person is perceived to be rich and she is encouraged by someone who worships money. Who doesn't like good things? If you don't like it because you're crippled, don't you worry. Me, I like it. Please excuse me. Anyways, I mean, I came home only for me to meet this Gladys and Anita. Initially, I thought she was, you know, a friend or family member, and that was it. And you know, come to think of it, there was something quite odd about her behavior that day. I cannot really place my finger on. How do you mean? 
Yeah, I mean, she was, she was withdrawn. She, she was reserved a little bit, and you know, probably, you know, she came to give Anita bad news. Was there any kind of conversation between you and this lady? No, no, not at all, except she introduced her son to me as daddy. Daddy? Yeah. I should think I know all of Anita's friends, you know, but this Gladys does not fit into any picture of our friends. But no, you just take it easy, all right? Because you're worrying too much. We're going to find her. We will. I really liked it. I missed you so much. And tell me that jogger you've been rolling with can hold his own in the sack. Hmm? No. I refuse to be your best man. When did you start lying to me? You have to believe me. That's the truth. There are two things I don't do. What or what? I don't trust people so I don't believe them. And two, I don't play my money. <laughs> you! You're so silly! You can't understand why I love you so much. Well, there can't be two of me, baby. You know that, right? Yeah, I do. Tell me, what are we going to do to prove your innocence? I mean, we can't keep hiding like this. Yeah. Well, living dangerously has got its perks, you know. I kind of like it. The bizarreness of it. Well, anyways, <clears throat> I love my freedom too. So this guy you've been hanging with, he's got bread? Um, he's a businessman. Mm -hmm. Good pay. Good prospects. Well, I have prospects. I think our prospects have been hijacked by a few in this country. You know? You haven't answered my question. Don't interrupt me when I'm on the Zoom. I'm on the Zoom right now. Sorry. <laughs> I missed it. Listen, um, I don't care how you do it or what you have to do. I uh, want it done, okay? No, I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too. <laughs>
office. Come on, you break down. I, I called your office, they said you don't come to work any longer. What's going on? Nothing interests me right now other than Anita. This is, this is amazing. And this is no more funny. It have been everywhere. Police stations, hospitals, everywhere. Right now I am so, so confused. Like I said before, if you can't be like this, trust me, you'll break down. You don't look well. I mean, you're looking worn out. Have you been eaten? I'm not interested in food really now. Oh, come on, you can say that. You need to eat. Take some good food, some water and rest. Okay? How often we find out we'll her? You can't keep starving yourself. And you'll die before you see the Anita. Oh. Oh. If you just saw your ghost. So where have you been? Where I have been is not important. I only came here to pick up a few things. And I'll soon leave so I can give yourself and your wife some space. My wife? Oh, stop pretending, Michael. Gladys told me everything. How you abandoned her and your son. Are you out of your mind? I wish I were. And it's that way I'll be able to explain to myself how I fell in love with a human being like you. This is ridiculous. It is? Really? It's ridiculous? Yes. You know, Michael, the worst and the biggest fool on earth are men who can deny and abandon their family. But thank God, your plans didn't work. My plans? Yes. Your plans of making me a permanent mistress, it didn't work. Perhaps he was not very sure before birth. This feud does proves it all. It proves nothing. I cannot be a second wife. I can't. I mean, I'm too young to be a second wife. But he said... For Christ's sakes! Am I making this up? I saw the woman. I saw her. Her name is Gladys. She was carrying a child. She said it was his child. My his child. I'm not saying you're making things up, alright? But this is baffling, you know? A woman works in with a child, claiming it's Michael's, and the next moment, she just disappears, you know, just, she's gone. Well, I mean, maybe her intention was to scare me. I don't know, but I did see a woman there having a child, and she said the child was Michael's. Makes sense. See, it makes a lot of sense, Anissa. Yeah. Oh, come on. Will you allow a total stranger in what you have with Michael? I have nothing with Michael. I thought I had something with him, but I don't. Come on, Anita. Don't be in a hurry to take decisions. I made up my mind. I don't have anything with Michael. It's over. See, I need you to think about this properly. Because Michael does not strike me as a guy who will have a child and lie about it. Okay. So it's all. We have you there. A friend's place. A friend? I don't know of. Hi. I mean, like, I make friends every day. A new friend. Yeah, I made a new friend. No, that's okay. That's okay. Make new friends every day. Have you heard from a few lately? Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Why do you ask? And nothing just crossed my mind. <laughs> yeah. Nothing just crossed my mind. I did see the woman with a child that would have been through this. Just, it's okay. Did your daughter tell you anything about her disappearance? Besides that Michael is married with a child. No, she didn't tell me anything. The issue is not whether he is married or not. Because he is not. How would you know that? Michael has no reason to lie to me. He is a gentleman. gentleman. Apparently, Anita does not think so. Except the two of you want to tell me that the woman in question is a figment of Anita's imagination, which I know is not. Ah! 
you know, till date I still find that particular incident amazing. But at a point in time, I began to think Anita brought the lady herself. Why would she do that? I'm, I'm not saying she did. But still, in my confused mind, a lot of things were going through. Are you saying that somebody must have sent the woman? That's the only logical explanation, sir. And what would the person benefit from doing that? To stir up troubles. Mm. Have I said anything wrong? No, sir. But see, the question is, who would actually benefit from creating problems between Anita and I? Hmm. Let's talk. Come on. Please. Leave me now. I mean, I don't know the way I could, I could just, you know, tell you I'm innocent. Chatro will not help you. I'm leaving. Sorry. Look, Anita, come on. You can't just leave me like that. No. I mean, think of things we've been through together. Huh? You used to be happy being with me. Come on. I mean, you can't just stop loving me. Well, I have stopped loving you, Michael. I cannot live with a man I can't trust. Look, no, Anita, please. Just, just, just give me some time. I swear I'll get to the root of this. Somebody definitely is behind this. You're so trying to get me upset, Michael. I hate when you begin to make stupid excuses when you don't want to own up. Anita, isn't it happening to you that somebody's trying to break us up? Who? Look, I don't know. I don't know. The lady came here on her own. She was sent. I don't know. We don't know her. But what did I know is somebody is benefiting from this? I think you search yourself, Michael, because I don't have enemies. I have some girl you promised marriage. No, just stop. You know, if your ex-boyfriend were to be around, I'll say this is the kind of thing he's capable of doing. I need to go. Stop. I need to go. I'm looking for money. Alright. What for? I'm owing a friend. How much? Five hundred thousand. Five? I need to make a lot of money. Such as well. Uh, okay, okay, hold, hold on. Hold, okay. Alright, I'll just go get my checkbook, okay? Alright? Don't go nowhere, please. Huh? Please. Let me have your bag. No! Please. No! Please. You just have to be patient. Come in, bro. You know, you're the most wonderful woman God ever created on earth. <laughs> hmm? Unfortunately, that my money is going down rapidly. Phil, it, it means that you you need to cut down on expenses. Oh, please, baby. I'm a rolling stone. Wherever I lay my hat is my own. To spend. Why don't you let me hook you up? Hmm? Cook you up one of the popular money bags like Chief of Kunye Me. Feel, I will never ever do anything like that. Oh, come on. It was a joke. What's your sense of humor? Hello? Come on. <laughs> Why you think I'm going to do pimp you out like that? You're going to be my wife. No one wants to see another man shy you. Come on. King Dad does this. <laughs> Listen, I am going to get the rest of the money. And I will be. I trust you. But here's what I see. You see, that jockhead gave you half a million there for smiling at him. But that make a one smile of yours. So imagine what it's going to do to you and for you.
Why did you stop? Look, um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Something just didn't seem right. What doesn't seem right? I'm sorry. Michael. Michael! No man has ever turned me down. No man has ever me down. Figure you out. Is it because I refuse to make you love to you? Let me tell you before who you are. I was thinking that I had your plan no sex before marriage. Excuse me. Hello? I want you here now. Um. So that's not possible. Why? Do you know why? I'm trust that he's out there filling you up, isn't he? If you don't come here now, I'm gonna come over there and cut his hands off. You know how to do it. Um, there, there's no need to make trouble. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm actually keeping away from you. What is it? You remember the, the car I told you I bought for my ex? Yes, I do. I didn't finish paying for it. And the dealer is on my neck. I tell you, you amaze me. I mean, why did you tell me this since? I didn't, I didn't want to bother you. I mean, you've done enough already. Relocating my parents and... How much is it? I really wouldn't have told you. Just that the man wants to sleep with me. What? What? No. Now, I want you to tell me how much everything is, how much you owe him, okay? Sum it up, talk to it, and tell me right now. How much do you owe Philip? Million five hundred thousand. One point five million there. That's it. Okay? I'll give you that money right now. I'm going to my room to write you a check. One point five million there. Okay? One point five million and it's over between you and Philip.
leave now. You have to leave now. I mean, this is wrong. You should have come here in the first place. Anybody could see you. You have to leave. <laughs> Town, he came here, you know, he even stayed over the weekend and we gave him money. You gave him money? Why didn't you tell me? That's not the point! Alright? Now I see why you left my girl. I didn't know you were because of you. What I told you about the woman was true. And tell me, girl, is it not clear to you who sent the woman? Who sent the woman? Did you reveal my address? I did not. But I told him how to locate your mother. <sighs> why would you do that? That's not the point. What I know is, I want you to stop seeing fear. Oh, I'll tell my I'll show you the last two because I'm going to pick up my fairs. Oh, praise God, hallelujah! Yeah, because if you do this, this will actually be the, the most reasonable thing you've done since I knew you. Why, thank you very much. Let me remind you. Uh -huh. I'm not telling Michael because of any other reason. I'm telling you because he's been fair to me and deserves to know why I'm living him. Oh. Sleep with me, I'll call the cops. If you're my shoes, what will you do? That's a lie, and you know it. Oh, I'm lying now? No, what happened, man? What happened? You have a dog to just find something. What would I lie to you? What would I do? If I tell the truth, what will you do about it? Beat me? Oh, now, that's the problem with you people. You hear me when you tell the truth. See what happened. Believe it or not, that girl tried to set me up. You understand what I'm saying? As soon as she walked into the job guest house and saw you and I making her, she got mad. She wanted to get back with me. She fed you that cock and bull story before I could tell the truth. So tell me, when were you going to tell me? Answer me, Phil. When were you going to tell me? Can is my man, and I can handle him. You think you can, huh? 
<laughs> now that they see him slamming into his sweet wife. She wouldn't there. You didn't think I was going to give you the real tea, did you? I gave you all that line and you went dumber than I thought. You? You treat me? Have a nice day, yeah? <laughs> uh, Oh, you're bad. You're bad. <laughs> mm. Back to the bone. Mm. Stop looking at me like that. I was just, just trying to do you a favor. After you probably giving me one million to give to you, you were trying to do me a favor. How much will you pay to the tree? Anita, lower your voice, you know? I don't want to further to hear what you discuss it. I don't care if Papa hears what we're talking about. I'm asking you, how much will you pay to betray me? How, how much? He rubbed my back. That's not why I even did it. I, I thought he was richer than Michael. Yeah. Phil is not richer than Michael. Phil. Yes. That's Philip. Hey. Is he not the one declared wanted by the police for murder? He shut up your mouth! He didn't do what? Hey! I hope you're not seeing him again. That boy has caused a lot of harm in your life, oh! I don't want me to Why don't we start by blaming you for your greed and selfishness? I am your mother. You are not my mother! I refuse to accept that you are my mother! Now I understand what Papa has been shouting and warning me against you. You will sell anybody for money! And it's don't call me Anita. I hate you. Don't ever call me that to me. Anita! I was just trying to do you a favor. Hi. This boy has got a cousin in the corner. Don't tell me. He's got a guy, eh? He's got a guy, a cousin. Oh. All is not well. But first of all, let me thank you for agreeing to meet me here in a very short notice. Thank you very much. Are you having problems with Kat? Not yet. But I know I will. My God. Something very terrible happened to me. And I hid it from him. Not because he didn't love you. But because I didn't want to hurt him. Right now, nothing I feel so much is back. And I'm afraid it's going to affect my relationship. Listen, this is a public place. You, you do not need to cry, okay? Don't cry. But I tell you this. Whatever it is, since you've made up your mind to say it, come out with it. Right? Damn the consequences, talk to me. You and I can parry that children. Yes. I'm afraid it concerns you too. I 
I don't understand you. Philip, tell me everything I need to know about Philip. Not things I know already, but things that are going on right now. Speak. I said speak! I'm very confused right now. I'm extremely confused. I don't know who to believe, what to believe, or who to even trust. I mean, the best thing that has happened to me at this time. Your dirty girl is thinking, you like clothes! All this would have been my girlfriend. Stop patronizing your lousy boyfriend. Because you know that he is an animal. A red beast. That's what we call Oh, shut you. up! Oh, I want! You better shut up. You think uh, I don't know? Do you think I don't know? No what? You're jealous of us. You're so jealous. You, you wanted fuel, you couldn't get fuel, so you went for his friend game. Oh, please, girlfriend. Look at you. <laughs> Will I be right if I say, like, mother, like daughter? Obviously, I see your mother's blood runs in your vein. How dare you call my mother in this conversation? Mm. Is your mother better? Only God knows what people do to Michael because of you! What? Did Michael go after Phil? Yes, he did, dear friend. Yes, he did. He went after Phil to recover your shameful act of day. That's what he did. Oh, 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 this no good, this no good. Phil is a dangerous man. Okay, you know what? Enough of the trouble. Alright? Let's call the police. He doesn't want the police involved. Uh, so, what do we do? Who's that? the ugly lady. Uh, she's sick, sir. Sick? How will she get sick? Anybody that ugly deserves to get sick. Anyway. <clears throat> it's better you than the ugly lady. Keep looking at the back of a bad boy. Got to think of it, I am a bad boy. But I guess all you cleaners have to be on me, right? Part of the criteria. Oh, fuck it. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh shit. Now, stay down or I'll hurt you more. Who are you? Good question. My name is Michael. <laughs> From there, why is it a walking here like Rambo trying to punch me out? Well, anyway, you still punch like a little girl. All right, where's the thing? Does she know this part of you? What are you talking about? It's a part that loves to watch other people perform, you know, watch a girl scream out of pure pleasure. That's like bump and grind and all. You love pulling that, you? You love to jerk off a bit. Very funny. You see, left to me, the comedians in this country will be. I don't like jokes. Mm. I want to tell you. <laughs> I like you now, see? 
I'm beginning to see a little bit of what she saw in him. I like brothers that want to walk. I'll talk to talk. Sometimes you hide this thing, she can't figure out where they are. Ah, what am I doing? I love my shoulders the real time. Because I love to watch it every night. As I bump and grind on that chick, glue finding her screw. <laughs> I'm thinking about going to the you know, the public business when I get into America. After you've seen this thing, you will agree with me. How do you watch it? And they can't call it. Why don't you let me get you the camcorder? Dummy. <laughs> All right. What check is that? Let me make a quick, quick demonstration of how it goes. Take the thing, put it in here, snap it shut, pull play, watch it.
See, this is a wonderful reunion. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, um, celebrating a reunion, um, we got something that um, it think you guys should be the first to see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, really? I'm waiting for That she died out of shock and not a physical contact with fear. So, Ada's father said sending Phil to jail will not bring back his daughter. He said it free. That's crazy. You just let him lie on you, sir. Mm, that is one dangerous man. Mm, that guy is a hazard to sign. I think they should have kept him there. But that's the same. That won't stop. Oh, uh, well, yeah. so. All right, then. So, how do you see? 